In today's video, we're going to dive into a Shopify store that honestly sucks. And the reason I say that it's because this is literally a vacuum cleaner and they're doing about $3 million a month just on their Shopify store alone. So we're going to break it down. We're going to study a little bit about their brand and business as a whole. And we're going to get some ideas just on the overall niche, maybe on some of their marketing tactics. You can actually learn a lot about tactics when you look at some of these businesses, especially when it comes to ads, because these guys are on the cutting edge. So let's begin with their website and then we'll move into some of their financials, some of their ads, their marketing, etc. As you see, it's Roborock.com. If you've never heard of them, they're actually a Chinese company, but they have been growing substantially here in the US and with a product that's honestly nothing new. You've probably seen the Roombas before. That's at least the brand that I know of that sells this product. But this is just a different branded version of that, which goes to show a little bit about the myth of competition or not the myth, but rather that competition sometimes just means there's a lot more customers that you can get and the market is bigger and there's more opportunity in it. So that's kind of how I see it at least while looking at this brand. But what's really curious to me about it is just how simple their landing page is. This is literally something you could do with the free Shopify themes. And I'm not just saying that to promote Shopify here. Literally with the refresh theme, you could do something so similar. And I mean, a lot of these pictures almost look like AI generated images. So you could probably do something similar to this through mid journey nowadays. So it's kind of a special time to be building an online business if you ask me. Now they have the sticky add to car button, smart, very good addition to the site. I mean, it's kind of a long website or landing page, but it makes sense since the product is over a thousand dollars. So that's the landing page. That's the website, you know, pretty standard stuff, to be honest with you. And they're driving a ton of monthly traffic, as you see. So through Shop Hunter, we can see in the last 30 days over three million dollars in revenue. It's probably more than that, but this is just an estimate. Don't take it too seriously. It's just a benchmark. What's actually great is we can see that since this is a public company, we can see the stock price and their actual valuation. So they've done over a, mil a billion dollars. So they do a billion dollars a quarter and they're actually pretty profitable for being at that level, 17.6%. That's quite high. And somehow they're up almost 10% today, which is pretty interesting. We may have found a gem here when it comes to investment opportunities. So if we read a little bit about it here, Roborock is a Chinese consumer goods company known for its robotic sweeping and mopping devices and handheld coralistic vacuums. So this is actually one of the biggest brands in this niche. So like I said, this actually is a good investment opportunity if you like e-commerce and if you like robotics and you believe in the overall robotics market. I know we've been talking a little more about investing on the channel. I think it's a good way for me to broaden up the audience. And honestly, I really enjoy learning more and more about wealth opportunities in the stock market, especially when they fit my core competency, which is e-commerce, which this does. So that's pretty special. Now, really one of the things I wanted to share that I thought would be a really good uh, noteworthy thing to share here with you guys, whether it's on YouTube or Twitter, because Twitter has been a good place for me to post these videos lately, is some of the ads that they're running. Because I think there's a big misconception right now when it comes to meta ads. And trust me, I have an agency where we actually run meta ads for eight figure brands. So I actually have a really good eagle eye view of some of the things that are working right now when it comes to meta ads. And also I study these things every day. And one of the things that people are not doing enough is just testing image ads. I think there's been a huge craze with UGC in the past few years and rightfully so UGC content is great. If you don't know what that is, it stands for user generated content. And it's basically where you just hire somebody to give a testimonial. <laughs> but obviously there's levels to UGC content. There's like S tier content where it's a really good ad. And then there's pretty trash content where it's just literally somebody filming with themselves with their iPhone like this, just no editing, nothing, no scripts, no marketing angles in mind, nothing. But this is something that's really effective these days too. It's just infographics of your product. So if you have a solid offer that's like pretty easy to communicate, go on Canva and make an infographic just like these guys are doing. They're running some carousel ads, some uh, story placement ads with literally just images really boosting up the, the sale that they have going on right now. So if you've been thinking, well, how can I make UGC for every sale that I have? 
you actually don't have to. You can just literally make sale banners and run them on meta ads in those specific seasons when you're running a sale. And a lot of businesses run a lot of sales. Obviously, that's up to you to decide. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just sharing some information, sharing my journey and what I'm learning along the way. But it seems like a lot of these big businesses do a lot of sales. Not saying that's the best way to do it. I definitely think that can cheapen your brand in some ways. And it probably makes it less effective when you do run a sale, if you run a ton of sales. But at the same time, <laughs> these guys are doing a billion dollars a quarter. So they definitely know a thing or two about what they're doing. And they're profitable. So not only are they printing revenue, they're actually printing profits as well. Now, just to show you here they actually are starting to do more stuff on tiktok as well so a lot of people are still sleeping on tiktok and they view it as just some joke platform but it's driving meaningful traffic for a lot of businesses and not just traffic but brand awareness as a whole this video right here has 1.5 million views somehow and it's kind of a weird video it doesn't seem very relevant to the brand but i guess it is i mean we're almost done here watching it it's kind of a long one 30 seconds that's not long, but our attention spans these days are just bad. This is kind of a cool video, but they have their little logo here. I guess it's just a brand awareness ad. That's all it is. And then at the end, they show their vacuum. So there it is. Uh, they just show that vacuum. So that's another one of their product. It's a, it's a wireless vacuum, which I think is a brilliant product. I have a wireless vacuum and it's changed our lives here at my house with my girlfriend or apartment it really makes it a lot easier to get things, make things clean or just be more consistent with your cleaning because you don't have to plug in a cord. And they have a lot of these viral videos that are getting like a million views. So what I think is going on here is that they're running these as Spark ads because these don't look like videos that would go viral. So it's almost a guarantee that these videos are being pushed with some ad budget behind it. And that's another lesson that you can learn if you were new to my channel and you don't know about this. When you post your stuff on TikTok, you can actually use these posts as an ad. And as opposed to just boosting it and getting a bunch of brand awareness, you can actually use it as a Spark ad and use conversion optimization to actually get sales through it. So not only will you get more exposure for your brand and followers for your page, but you're actually gonna be getting sales through it as well. So it's a super powerful system. That's why I decided to start an agency to help brands do that, even though we're not taking clients right now. but because I know that this is powerful and I really wanted to build this team for myself as well and my brands, but some of these are getting a lot of budget pushed into them, like 8 million views. Um, that's pretty significant. Let's check this one out. This is a very high quality ad right here. So, you know, it doesn't really seem like something that would work super well on TikTok, but as you see, a lot of people are actually commenting. I would love one of these when is it releasing like people are actually engaged into this ad which is a really good sign but overall i mean they're posting a little bit on reels actually i just saw this the other day this was a really popular reel that i saw these guys are doing like an augmented reality ad here and it's starting to go kind of viral so this is a massive trend as well for the brands that can't afford it is using this you know cgi in order to create like really interesting and eye-catching ads like this so this is an example of that i just saw this the other day and it got reposted amongst like a bunch of theme pages so that's a really interesting ad type as well and yeah smart of them to start repurposing stuff on instagram reels a lot of people don't do that as well which is a missed opportunity because the content that goes viral on tiktok can easily go viral on instagram and sometimes even more viral of course sometimes it can flop but that's the risk you gotta take and yeah, that's really it for this video. I hope you learned a thing or two. See ya.